What's going on, Bucks gang? This is Travis checking in. You know the deal. Buckles locker. Shout out to Isaiah holding it down for this preseason. And I'm going to fill y'all into my preseason opinions on what's been going on. So just to get into it, y'all, some big cuts were made. Big cuts. I'm happy with some, not happy with all, of course. But <clears throat> I see what direction we're going in. This preseason told us a lot what direction we're trying to look at on both sides of the ball. Uh, first cut that caught a lot of people's attention, uh, Charles Sims. I mean, I wasn't surprised. When he got hurt, I was like, that's it. Let's be real. Who's, who was really Charles's, Charles Sims fan this long into his career with the Bucks? Lovey Smith guy just just didn't make it work. So he's gone. Wish him luck. Wish him well. I'm surprised we kept the Sean Wilson guy. The undrafted running back from um from Duke. He's been proving that he needs to be on this team. He wants to be on this team. He wants to be on the roster and he made it. Cause um Ronald Jones, Ronald Jones isn't looking too well, but let me touch up on that real quick. Y'all need to ease up. All right. Ease up. Not every running back is going to be spectacular coming out the gate into the NFL, all right? Just be realistic. I mean, remember when Melvin Gordon first got drafted and how he was his first year? You know, people are like, oh, he sucks. Why do we draft him? First round running back, he's trash. Second year, made the Pro Bowl. You know? Um, another one, I know y'all are going to be like, why are you bringing up this guy of all people? Because um, it's facts, man. Walter Payton. Walter Payton sucked his first game. Walter Payton was had no rushing yards his first career game, y'all. He's a Hall of Famer. And I know it's Walter Payton, and I'm not saying Ronald Jones is going to be the next Walter Payton. I'm sure as hell not. But the fact is, you got to be patient. Not every rookie running back is going to be the man coming out the gate like that, especially with our offensive line. Not the best. Not the best shape. You know, I think that Tampa needs to utilize him in another way. And uh, he needs to shake off that, uh, I guess, that fear of getting hit because, um, I mean, Sean Wilson's doing it. Peyton's been, Peyton Barber's been in for a while, so we know he's a hard-hitting running back. I'm happy to have him on the roster. But be patient with Ronald Jones a second, okay? He may need to have some pep talk to get him off his, get him off his feet and uh, get going north and south, all right? But I, I see, I think Dirk could, could get him utilized in another way for the offense because I don't know if he can be the inside guy. Maybe he can take it to the outside, especially if he gets better at catching the balls. But he does need to improve, but I'm not counting him out just yet. Um, I'm happy to see our our uh, rookie rookie uh, DBs doing well with uh, MJ Stewart and Jordan Whitehead and the other guy that we got. Uh, <clears throat> damn, but we cut Keith Tandy and Josh Robinson just to only keep – I'm not going to say his name, you know. He's there for a reason, I guess. He knows the defense. They kept some veterans with him and uh, Brent, and, uh, and, um, and Grimes and Grimesy back there. And we still have Vernon. <laughs> um, so hopefully hopefully they can, they can help out with these seasoned DBs we have back there. Um, I'm loving the linebackers that we have, especially with Jack Sitchie making it. Uh, still have Quan Le Levante. Sucks that we won't have Kendall back with for a while with his uh, – being unable to perform on the PUP list, uh, but what about that receiving group we got though? Let's let's just let's just be real. I was arguing with a family member of mine. He was saying, "Now nah, we're going to put Watson, Watson on the practice squad." I'm like, "No, we're not. If we put him on a practice squad, some team is going to take him and it's going to bite us in the ass." So I'm so glad we put him in our six in our deep six uh six man receiving squad because he earned it. I know. Sorry, Narita, Bobo Wilson. But uh, Jack Justin Watson, Justin Watson needed is in the right place. He needed to. I'm glad we kept him, for real. I'm so happy we kept him. Um, <clears throat> line, the line looks all right. I don't want to get. Mm. I know we had some injuries with Donald Penn. Um, back to Justin Evans on the defense, so we'll see. Maybe Jordan Whitehead will step it up back there in the safety spot next to Conte. Uh. Tight ends are awesome. No, no, no fears there. The defensive line is deep. I'm glad we have JPP being that leader on the end, along with uh, McCoy in the middle. Noah Spence. This I think this year will be a year for him to prove it if he can be a pass rush specialist because we haven't seen it yet. We know we know he was hurt last year, and this preseason we just haven't seen it. You know he lost his weight and 
that he was on his uh his uh, daily calorie intake that he was that he was losing weight and building muscle. So we got, we brought him in to be a um, a sack specialist, a pass rush specialist. So this year he has plenty of time to show that that's what he can't that's what he was brought here to do. But I don't think if he can, then you gotta look elsewhere. Um, I really can't wait to see when Vita Vea comes back because that's our number one guy. I understand he was hurt and uh, he may need some bounce back to come back. But we who who doesn't want to see the number one draft pick? I'm sorry, the first round pick. Who doesn't want to see that person perform? So that's the one I'm really anxious to see and hoping that he lives up to the first round name because who we should have gotten is over in L.A. on the Chargers. But it is what it is. Uh, quarterback, uh, I did like seeing, I did like what I saw Ryan Griffin. I did like, uh, I did like what Jameis did, and of course, on, with the second team. And uh, Fitzpatrick was Fitzpatrick in preseason, but we all know Fitzpatrick and his track record, okay? Like, let's just be realistic here. If Fitzpatrick was that good of a quarterback, why is he on his, what, like eighth team? <laughs> and always been a backup, only started one year. So, this whole thing about, Jameis may not even see the field this year. He may not start. He may not. Uh, he may not get a start on John back when the suspension's over. Come on, y'all. Let's just be real. Do you really see Fitzpatrick holding it down that long, and then them putting him in Ryan Griffin over Jameis Winston when he's over with his suspension, with Jameis having great numbers over the preseason? You know, that's the. He's still the franchise guy. He's still the franchise. So I don't believe that for a second. I really don't. I think. Um, I think Jason Light's trying to ruffle some feathers, get y'all, get all of us anxious, but let's, I don't think he's going to do that. I mean, if he, if he does keep him on the sideline, then Jameis is done. Plain and simple. If the GM is going to give up on the franchise, then that means his, his time here is done. No questions asked. But I don't see Fitzpatrick leading us down 16 games. I mean, with him starting these first three games, depending on how the defense does, if he can – Continue to well. I'm just gonna focus on him. Um, with the uh, Saints coming up the first game, then us having the, the Super Bowl champ Eagles, and then Pittsburgh on prime time. I'm gonna say two and one like last year. It may not be pretty. I'm not gonna say they're gonna be pretty games, but Fitzpatrick's gonna have to game manage. But I do. I will say this. I am so happy that Todd Monken is calling the offense. I don't know if I said his last name right. I don't care, but. I'm so happy that he's calling the offense instead of him Dirk Cutter because he is opening the playbook and spreading it out. Let me just say that because watching that this preseason, I was so happy to see the mix of plays and and the uh, variety of what these what these passing plays have been. Some of these run looks, I'm happy. I'm, I'm loving. It. Um, shout out to Alex Kappa, that rookie, the other uh, rookie guard we got. Will tackle wherever they're going to put him. You know he's going to be something special on that line. Okay. Him and Ali Marpeck gonna hold it down. Hopefully Donovan Smith can come back good, come back well. Same with um, Demar Dotson and uh, Ryan Jensen that we picked up a free agency. This line should be more than average. I hope to be more than average. So we should be we should be a better offense. And defensively, damn it, let's just get some sacks, y'all. <laughs> like back to the defense, let's just get some sacks. You know we're gonna have we're gonna have, we're gonna have so much depth at line, offensive and defensive line. Like let's just let's just do it. You know, linebacker and core to stay healthy, um, and hopefully with this, um, with Michael's with Mike Smith's defense this year, I just hope that he doesn't do the same two coverages that he did last year. I know he he relies on the pass rush, but come on, dude, it didn't work last year. And I know you're saying we got a better pass rush now, but two coverages, come on, it's not going to do it. Sixteen games, all right. So with preseason, I'm not mad at all overall with the cuts. I mean, I like Keith Tandy. Uh, but you know, he was a splash guy. Um, Josh Robinson, big guy on special teams. So I see we're just trying to, obviously we're getting younger and we keep it some veterans here and there, but big question goes to what well, everybody's wondering is Jameis going to be the starter when his three years, when his three month, three game suspension is up, he's going to be back. And if he's not, then we're moving on. That's just the reality of it all. So we'll see when this three-game suspension's up, what we're looking like, and what we're doing with naming the starter after that because that's going to send the message right there. And hopefully this gets Jameis' head out of his ass once and for all, being a pro now because this is in college. He's a father now, so hopefully he has his focus right and being a better leader and better mentor more than by saying words, more by providing action, okay? 
So overall preseason two and two, it's preseason. I'm not tripping like that. I'm just focusing on who's looking good and um, how everybody's how everybody's gelling together. So I'm happy to see that we kept some some of these great guys at receiver in depth and um, and how these DB rookies are performing. Because goddamn, we needed some good DBs. All right. <laughs> um, but until then, we are exactly a week from game day, baby. Till we play the damn Aints a week away. And I can't be more excited to finally get football back. We got a little taste of college football yesterday. Some tonight for you Canes and uh, Tigers fans. And then my team plays tomorrow against the Tech. So I, I'm happy that we got football back. But Bucks gang, this is a Bucks page. So Bucks football is back next Sunday. Let's get it. Travis signing out.